Jim Peters is the district attorney for Arapahoe and Douglas counties. Good morning to you and thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Hi, Greg. Thank you. And you're heading down there today, right? To kind of I am. oversee things. You might be testifying, right? I'm planning to, right. Mm -hmm. uh. Now, why is a special session being called for this? I know they're, they're calling it for other things too, like the drought and wildfires and such, but this is the primary reason, right? That's my understanding. Now, you, other DAs, and the governor are all in agreement on what? On asking the legislature. It always seems to me, just from my vantage point, that you get the death penalty for somebody, it takes forever for it actually to be applied. I think, actually, you're right. And there are some people on death row in other states around 20 years. Mm -hmm. Why is that? There is an incredible appellate system. Jim Peters, you and the other DAs and the governor have all stated what you want, and you're all in agreement. So it's going to be a slam dunk in this special session. Nothing is a slam dunk. Greg Nieto was saying in his report he expects this to be wrapped up in about a week. Is that your feeling, too? That's our understanding, right. If they agree with what you guys would like to see, when does it take effect? It can take uh, effect immediately. Jim Peters, I thank you so much for joining us. And again, the special session begins this morning, correct? It does, State Greg. Capital. Joining us now is Frontier spokesperson Elise Eberwine. And uh, when do these cutbacks take place? Some of them took place as early as yesterday. Industry-wide, you guys are in trouble right now. Uh, it's very difficult, um, and it's become very personal. The airline industry is so key, so vital to Denver's economy and Colorado's economy uh, with Frontier, with United. That, that's tough. It's very tough. Should I be worried? Getting on a plane today? No, you shouldn't be worried. What about the 440 people who have been laid off? Is there a chance they'll come back if the airline industry kind of perks up? Absolutely. Um, that's our goal, too. Wish you the best of luck at Frontier. Thank Wish uh, United and everybody else, all the carriers in the country, uh, the best, because this is a very, very trying time for them, too. <laughs> Time to meet a friend that needs a new home. Joining me now from Denver Dumb Friends League is Lonnie Cayenne. And, uh, and I love this. This is a dog. This she's dog, I think, has captured great. the hearts of everybody, now, Lonnie. You were making a joke that she's mischievous, but I don't think she's mischievous. I just think she's a hoot and a half. Yeah. And she just seems to like everybody she meets. Oh, just a she's sweetheart. A, she's a good kisser. I love this she dog. Lo I have more biscuits, you know. And we happen to know for a fact that her digestive system works... <laughs> Quite well. You know, I, I walked her earlier. No, we don't believe you. Had a little bit of an accident, so we're sorry for that. It wasn't a little bit of an accident. <laughs> Do you notice that people want to adopt a little more during the holiday season? People are in a giving mood, and yeah. I just kind of think it's just captures the spirit. You know, sometimes that is the case. Totally. How about some uh, pet uh, tips uh, during the holidays? One concern is a Christmas tree, right? Right, right. And a lot of folks don't realize it, but... Um, we, we certainly can can uh, project that the <laughs> eight Republicans selected to vote are going to all vote for George W. Bush. I think it would be a big surprise if any Colorado elector changed his or her mind. I don't think you're going to see that happen here in Colorado. How about the rest of the country? Well, that's a little different. Aaron, a personal note here from you. Are you kind of happy that this happened this year just so that people became more aware of what really does happen in the election process? Uh, absolutely, Greg. Could you see in the future this being uh, done away with or at least modified, maybe so it's not an all or nothing thing? Uh, absolutely. First of all, the most important thing, has your name ever been misspelled? Well, it's not so much misspelled, it's that it's mispronounced. Everybody goes, Suze Ormond, or oh. whatever. And I'm like, going, it's Suze Ormond, you know. That actually Very came simple. from the 60s when I went to college and everybody was changing their name to Faith and Hope. Yeah, and my yeah. name was Suze, and I wanted to be a little cooler, so I changed the spelling because I thought, who would ever see it in writing anyway? <laughs> yeah. Wrong, what now can after, I do? <laughs> after a few books, um, I'm scared to death. Honest to God, I'm scared to death to go to somebody for financial advice. I don't know who to trust. Now, I have to tell you, that is a very good thing to trust. When you are afraid, please listen to that fear. Quickly, yes. we're running out of time here because you love to talk about this stuff. I love to talk, period. And I love talking to you. You're fun. <laughs> <laughs> Best advice, in a nutshell, that people can get here in uh, August of 2001. Is the markets are not turning around so quickly. You've been listening to him for about the past hour here. Michael Feinstein got a great new CD out Is uh, with the... Israel Philharmonic Orchestra. You're going to be performing with them, Michael, here in Denver on August 25th, huh? Yes, I'm very excited about that. It's City Lights. That's great. The pavilion. Outdoors venue, do you prefer outdoors or indoors? Well, uh, the thing I like about outdoors is that when you get 5,000 people together, there's something very exciting about that. Have you ever sung at a mile high? No, I, I haven't. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll give you a report on, uh, on, on, on my oxygen level. We're going to hear you in just a moment. <laughs> A uh, sad note from Hollywood this past weekend, Rosemary Clooney passed away, and you were really close to her, right? Yes, she was like my second mom. Touring with the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra, uh, what's it like uh, 
performing with a hundred piece orchestra. Well, it's fantastic, Greg. Five years, uh, 51 million bucks. Does it bother you? It would bother me if people knew what I made. Does it bother you that people know that, hey, you just signed a $51 million deal? Well, I mean, maybe, maybe to a certain degree it might, but you know, that, that's just the nature of the beast. Penny, I gotta tell you, I don't know if you've ever seen this ballpark that uh, the Rockies play in, but it's called Coors Field, and uh, <laughs> not the easiest on pitchers, but that doesn't bother you one bit, right? No, not at all, and I think that's half the battle. We would love to see a World Series winner here any October. You were a part of that this past October with the Yankees. What is that like winning a World Series? There's no better feeling than that. And, uh, you know, the one thing I've realized, too, is that the ring, is, the ring will be great. You know, we'll, we'll get the, excuse me. <laughs> Where did I go here? We'll, 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 get the, we'll get the ring. Hold on, Trey. You're not, you're not there yet, buddy. We knew it was a matter of time before you find the microphone. <laughs> Looks but, like he's, uh, he's a right-hander, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, sad to say, he's yeah. got everything to the right. I've been trying to force him to be left-handed, but... Uh, <laughs>